And welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I'm your host, Paige Jen. And I'm your host, Chelsea Lynn. Thank you for joining us on another beautiful Tuesday or whatever day of the week you're listening. Uh, it all counts and it all matters and we love you. Thank you for helping us take over the world and being here listening to us. Yep, all the days matter. Thank you. Because I've said this a million times and I'll say it a million more. If it wasn't for you guys, we would be sitting here talking to ourselves. And that's a fact. And that's okay, too, but we'd rather have an audience. We'd rather have an audience, maybe yeah. some sponsors. Yeah, so we appreciate uh, appreciate that. Um, um, uh, Brett is joining us in the studio today. Everybody give it up for Brett. Boom, 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 boom. Go ahead, Brett. We'll, oh, uh, we're waiting on him to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Song's still oh, playing. Okay. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on. Okay. All right, okay. Brett. Well, you're doing great either way. Thank you. Yeah, we can do no wrong here. So, mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh yeah, and Maggie yeah. is what? With oh, the- Maggie, we started a little late today, and Maggie had to go pick the kids up, and she's got cheer practice and all that. So Maggie's not joining us today. Sad. Mom life. Mom life. That's why we usually have to get an early start because she's got stuff in the afternoon. So we like to. We usually film the pod about what you guys usually over here anywhere uh, from 10, 10, 10 ish. 10. We usually get started at eleven because. Yeah. yeah, we got other things to do for sure. That's why. But being a mom yeah. and, or being a parent in general and having to take kids to all these practices and school and just driving, you're yeah. like a chauffeur. Oh, yeah. And Beth helps out a lot, uh, taking, you know, the girls places. I, I help out, too. And that's why Maggie hates it when we're on tour because <laughs> she's got to do everything. All the driving. There's so much. Yeah, yeah. And uh, someone else is joining us today in studio. Gary. Gar- Gary, you want to come say hi? <clears throat> He's hi. like, not really. I was just chilling. But- hi, all you rock fuckers. I love you guys. And I want to let you know that I have also fucked rocks. I'm a rock fucker. And and real ones. Big stones that I- are in the Smithsonian. I fucked them. I collect them. Gary, you did not, little. Those are behind uh, glass cases. I used to guard the Smithsonian. I was a guard there, and I took the rocks out and fucked them. Oh, my. Oh, God, God he's my his world. fucking face. He's my world. Guess what he did last night? Uh, shit on your bed? What? Kinda. <laughs> so this little angel <clears throat> was sleeping with me. Tilly was down um, with Beth. So it was just me and Gary up there. And I have a big bed. I have, my bed's bigger than a California king, so it's pretty big. And Greg's still in California, so it's just me and Gary. And I'm I'm having a wonderful sleep. I mean, I'm feeling good. 2 a.m., I hear this little motherfucker scratching around and making a weird noise. And I try to let it go. I try to let it go. And it just wakes me up eventually. I'm like, what is going on? I look at Gary, and he's just over on the other side of bed. You know how dogs, when they're trying to scratch their ass, they'll drag their ass or on the dra- ground. The, yeah, he was doing that on the bed, and I was like, and first off, it on was cute. It was fucking cute until the shit strings. And I was literally like, oh come on, Gary. And then he'd stop, and then he'd like try to lick and scratch like his private area. Got worms? Well, I don't know what it was. So I'm sitting there, and I'm trying to sleep, and trying, to, and he just kept me up. So finally I woke up and I was like, all right, you need to go pop pot. Let's go pop pot. So I took him outside. Didn't do anything but sit there and lick and scratch. I was like, fine, let's go inside. And you know when you're like middle of the night and you don't want to be up? Oh, it's la- yeah. It's the last thing you want to go fuck with. <laughs> so we go, back in the, we go back in the house. He goes into the living room gets on the couch. And I'm like, come on, you want to go to bed? And he didn't want to. He wanted to stay there. So I'm like, fine. I don't have time for this. So I go upstairs, go back to bed. Wake up this morning. And... I have white sheets, by the way. And I look over, and it is the cutest little shit stain I've ever seen in my life. He drew a picture. It is the, It is a little. It is a little um, streak, and it is about the size. It's about maybe a uh, half inch. Oh my god! Very thin, and it is shit. And to think it come out of that tiny asshole. That's all that was on the bed. Is the l- the littlest. 
shit streak you have ever fucking seen in your life. It was so cute, I almost left it there. But I was like, I got to clean the sheets. Just take a pic. <laughs> yeah, I got to clean the sheets. Oh, my gosh. So Gary did that last night. Mama had to deal with that, and he licking him ham right now Why don't they just wipe after they because take we shit? Because we can't reach back there, you idiot. Jesus Christ, I can't wipe my ass like a human. We'll just do the same thing you did That's why I on use the my, bed. I use my mommy's sheets to wipe my ass. Gave you a little amber turd. Everything he does, he does for Mama. He Even does. shit streaks. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess it is kind of hard to sleep when you have an itchy ass. Oh, I. that's why I keep latex gloves. When my ass and itches. And fork. And forks. When my ass itches, I want direct access. I got to scratch it. I will scratch it with a fork, a latex glove. I mean, and I will go to town. I don't just wiggle. That ain't going to do it for me. Sometimes I'll get my fingernails yeah. opened or... That's you, why I wear the latex gloves because I can't even. Th- I will wa- even if I wash my hands twenty times, it still ain't gonna be enough. The fecal. The fecal. <laughs> the fecal. That sounds like a scary movie. The, fe- the fecal <laughs> coming the, to theaters. That would be awesome, and it's just like the shit that like. A big pile of shit going on, scaring everybody. The yes. fecal. Yes, That's and it funny. takes over the world. Just like us. Yeah, it's like us almost. Just like my mommy. Oh, yeah, I shit. love scrubbing my butthole. <laughs> oh, hey, Brad. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot you were over there, man. Dude, yeah. I fucking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brad. <laughs> I was just blending in with the wood. Hey, hey, hey Brad. Hey. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> Dude, when he said, hey, Brad. Brett, what you doing over there? I was just thinking about when I'm in the shower. You love scrubbing your butthole. <laughs> oh, I get. With what? You say my, you, my hand. We've talked about this before, and you say yeah. you like to pull the hairs. Yeah, yeah I used Yankees. to, but ever since, you know, the waxing. I was going to say, Brett, it's I time. I haven't been yanking. Well, it's time for another wax. Yeah, definitely. Oh, when he's in the shower, he does that concoction with the hands in the water. That sounds like. <laughs> whoosh, 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 whoosh. Mm-hmm. I'm like a DJ. Why do you do that instead of just showering? You're wasting water. No, well, I am in the shower. he is in the shower. He yeah. gets this um sort of suds, good lather, a good in my lather hands. with like I can hear it from miles away. Brad, that's loud. He's like yeah. I think he enjoys it. It's it almost feels like really he, good, and I almost like get like the, the raw sound. What are you doing? I don't even know what you're talking about. Just getting a deep scrub, and you use your hand instead yeah. of a cloth or uh-huh. a loofah. Yeah. Why do you do that? I don't know. It just feels really good. It's almost like he does a cup in between his two butt cheeks and he pushes water up into his anal cavity. And it's like, I'll whoosh, whoosh. Is I'll have to do you're... a demonstration. Okay. Maybe. You should. Yeah. I'll watch it. Okay. I really will watch it. Yeah. I feel like I'm a veteran. We'll kinda. vlog that. Yeah. Mm. Brett, since you're talking a lot, you, you should lean forward into your. That's great, Brett. That's great, Paige. Go ahead and do that, Brett. Hold on, we're waiting on the sound bite. Here we go. Hit it. Lean forward. Turn it up. Brett. <coughs> Lean forward. Yep. Hey, wait. Can we listen to that again? Because you had it on low, and that's my favorite song, and I didn't hear it well. And turn really? it up. It's all the way up. Hmm? Oh, um, my headphones. And remember, it's got to start over, though. Oh. So we're, we're going to hear the alarm. Oh. So our roadcaster, we haven't fixed our sound bites yet, and, yeah. it, and it won't. Just stop the song. Okay. So there's yeah. a whole thing. No, so we'll talk for the next 45 seconds. How about you guys lean forward for like 30 seconds? Okay, ready? Oh, dude, it's easy to just lean forward and talk about Go ahead. anything. Go ahead. Okay, so basically when I was in elementary school, this, I guess I will just tell this story because it sticks. This boy was just coming into town brand new, and in a small town you always know a new kid's coming, mm-hmm. and... First thing he says to everybody, like, this is what he would say to everyone. Hey, you stupid Oompa Loompa looking ass motherfucker. Dang. That's it. So now I, that's always stuck in my head. That stuck with you. You stupid Oompa Loompa looking ass motherfucker. Brett, it's your dad. Time's up. All right. Lean back. All right, Paige, go ahead and lean back. (laughs) All right, Brett, we're ready for you. So I'm really fascinated with the color blue right now. I know we talked about it on the 
on the uh, slits. And what's kind of weird about it is uh, the frequency it gives off is the uh, 666 frequency. <clears throat> but uh, looking into that more, so Gabriel is the uh, guardian angel, and that was his, what he, his clothes, blue and white. So apparently those those colors don't burn. <clears throat> Saw a, a UFO the other day, right? Uh, I thought it was a light at first, and then uh, Paige actually caught it on video. Um, it was green. Uh, yeah, it kind of changed your life a little bit. Like, plus with the alien talk, like on the news. And they're like, hey, uh, there's aliens coming. And then Brett, this is your dad. Time's up. Lean back. Damn, talked anymore, I <laughs> probably would have got killed. Can I just say one thing? You know what that whole thing reminded me of? <laughs> what, like a month ago or more? When we, if you guys are not on our slits only, Paige and I post every Friday an extra Valor podcast to our subscribers. And like a month ago, we posted where me... Paige, Maggie, and Brett all switched positions, and we acted as the other people. So Paige was Maggie, mm -hmm. I was Brett, Brett was me, and Maggie was Paige. And it's a fucking hilarious episode. And so we did a lean forward on that where I was Brett, and did I not almost word for word say what he just fucking said? The aliens. I I'm said, like, I, here's, here, the aliens? here's was, here was my uh, lean forward. And I had on glasses and a wig and everything to look more like Bray. But here was my lean and forward. And the weed pen. And the weed pen. Here was literally word for word almost what I said. Uh, so aliens, I think I am one. Um, I also heard the color green is causing cancer. So just something I read. That's a little snippet, and so I am took that. I am dead on, Brett. I no, I I know you so well. Yeah, I remember all that and <laughs> going into saying what I was saying. I that was, I've been wanting to talk about aliens for a while, and I knew it. I yeah. could feel it. Hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's like it's kind of weird that you grow up your whole life the the news, and uh, now they're starting to show aliens on the news. So y'all want to go ahead and talk about your experience? Yeah. Well, I was taking a shit, and I look out the window, and there's these freaking two bright lights that either hit each other and bounce back or just went past each other really close. And th so that got my attention, first of all. Then I start seeing this green light going around these two other bright lights, and I go, what the fuck is that? Because it's just kind of jolting from side to side, something that can't move like an airplane, so to speak. Um, so then I hurry up and grab from my phone to take a video, and as soon as I start recording, the light is all the way, the green light is all the way on the far left when it was on the far right previously, so just, it just was wild. And I have it on video, the split second. I showed Chelsea, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> I don't know what this green light could be. It could be fucking cloaking, it could be freaking... I thought it was the lights um, behind me. Project Blue Beam. It could be fucking. Could just be a green light. What time the, was it? Um, I guess I could go and look. Like there, there were no lights behind me either, because I saw it and I was like, "Oh, that's weird." And then she actually recorded it. What do you mean lights behind you? Uh, you know, like a reflection. I thought it might have been a reflection. Where he were was you? looking in the mirror in the bathroom. naturally. Oh, and he could see the green light shining from okay. the reflection and i was trying to tell him like uh, there's a ufo yeah. but or whatever this was but so this wasn't like 3 a.m it was like no it was at uh 9 49 p.m on september 22nd and you googled if there was any sightings in nashville and there wasn't but this was right after so right after i googled Maybe I Googled too quick. Oh, I have I didn't Google since because I'm like, dude, uh, people are seeing this shit left and right. It's really not that big of a... Yeah. You know, I'm a little desensitized, I guess, from it, so... Is there anything else you think it could have been? 
Well, um, with how like fast said, it was going like back. Like I said, <laughs> Project Bluebeam or like. Um, What's Project Bluebeam? Oh, that's just a whole nother damn topic. Okay, so, I'll, look, I'll look into yeah, it. Yeah, look into that one. Okay, I'll look I don't into know. It. It, I don't know what it could be. It okay. was just fucking. Uh, I don't know what color UFOs are. People Paige, have said could... there's like three lights a lot of the times. Like my sister Dawn took a picture in Pacific Beach, and they actually put her picture on the news and shit. Or like it like blew up. Well, Paige, it could literally have been a UFO. An A. Leon. You know what I mean? It absolutely, absolutely could have been that. But so, then what does that mean? They're among they're amongst us. Hmm. It just yeah, it's all such a trip and UFOs in general and just how oh. and the military and how long mm. they've been here and I don't know. There, Who knows? To me there's nothing more interesting than that. Or what if aliens are completely ma- completely made up? Could, you know? <laughs> could be. Could be. You just never can tell. Brett, how you feel? <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Are you mad at me? Brett, are you mad at us? No. No, I'm not. It was it's it's very weird. Yeah. The whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. The, the blue stuff is weird to me too. Yeah. I mean, I will say that. That actually I thought you were going to talk about the slits only where uh I talked about the blue too. You, t- you also t- color. You also yeah. talked about the blue uh you did. Yeah. You 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 got on that. Absolutely. Yeah. I need to so I've been start wanting to say a lot of stuff, you know. Well, you only got a minute, so maybe next time you can talk more about the blue. Okay. You know, every single um, conspiracy or anything, I would just love for people to show it in real life. You know, like, if the color blue actually can't burn, like, I would like to see that in real life. Somebody demonstrate to me. I would like somebody to demonstrate why they think the earth is flat or why they think it's round. Like, just take everybody's... um, own hypothesis or whatever yeah. and just actually seeing demonstration on it that one yeah. guy did do the blue laser on the clothing i know but i didn't see it in real life oh okay in you're real saying, life you're saying it could be edited hmm. well anything could be oh, said sure. or whatever i just would like to start you know how people do the is it real or is it fake absolutely I'd like to start doing <clears throat> actually testing it myself well let's start testing it and vlogging it don't have a laser don't have nothing well We'll need, figure it out. Need friends. We we'll got f- fire. We'll figure it out. We'll make it work. We'll use AI or something. AI. <laughs> Dude. Fuck. Um, all right, Brett, can you get my song started? Let's do the Did You Hear Roundup for this week. Turn it down just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Zeus, the world's tallest dog, has died at age three. Guinness World Records says the Great Dane who stood at one meter tall was awarded the title in 2022. Can you turn it down just a little more, Brett? <clears throat> he was three years old and would have turned four in November. He died from pneumonia following surgery to remove his front right leg after cancer was discovered by vets. Zeus was three feet, five inches tall. Zeus, who was very laid back, Brittany said, his owner was a gift from her brother at eight weeks old. She had always wanted a Great Dane. He was a well-known character around Dallas and Fort Worth, and people would often ask if they could ride him like a horse when they saw him out on walks, she said. The answer, of course, was always no. No, he's a dog. <clears throat> he's a dog. And if you think, oh, three and a half feet, that's not very tall. For a dog, that's very tall. <laughs> That's a tall dog. That's a tall dog. Um, <clears throat> a flock of sheep found their way into a greenhouse in Greece and ate more than 600 pounds of marijuana plants being cultivated for medical use. Yanis Borinis, owner of the greenhouse in Magnesia, said his crop had already been damaged by heat and recent floods when a flock of sheep managed to enter the greenhouse and feast on the remaining cannabis plants. He estimated the sheep munched their way through more than 600 pounds of plants. He told the newspaper that the sheep were jumping higher than goats Uh after eating their uh, greenery. Greece legalized medical marijuana in 2017, and the country opened its first cannabis production plant earlier this year. They better have named it. 
jumping higher than goats. That's a good one. That's a good one. If they didn't, they fucked up. Right. You fucked up. That's a did they where's the video? I know. I have I I didn't see it. I haven't seen it. That would be awesome mm-hmm. to watch. <laughs> Holy shit. A painting bought for four dollars from a New Hampshire thrift store sells for one hundred and ninety one thousand dollars. A painting purchased from a New Hampshire thrift store for four dollars was auctioned off for $191,000 when it turned out to be a long lost work by N.C. Weth. The painting, titled Ramona, was one of four created by the Pennsylvania based artist for a 1939 edition of Helen Hunt Jackson's 1884 book Ramona. The work um, decepts an orphaned young woman in conflict with her foster mother. Auction House Bonhams, Bonham Skinner, said the painting was considered long lost by Weath, Weath experts, but it turned up in the possession of a New Hampshire woman. The woman said she bought the painting from her local Savers thrift store for $4, and it spent some time on her wall before going into a closet. She discovered the painting's true identity after she posted a photo of it on Facebook and was and was urged to contact curators at the Brandywine Museum and a former Weth curator in Maine named Lauren Lewis. Um, the woman decided to have the painting auctioned after its identity was verified. It fetched up a high bid of $150, making the final sale price price $191K once premiums and fees were included. The painting's whereabouts before turning up at the thrift store remain a mystery, but Bonham Skinner theorized it may have been gifted to the book's publishers by Weth's estate. How awesome of the person who said, hey, ma'am, you could be getting some money rather than just purchasing it from her and him getting the money. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I constantly think about it. I think all the time, like, okay, I'm, I've been to countless yard sales, countless thrift stores, countless antique stores, countless flea markets, and I always think, man, what have I picked up and looked at and set back down that was worth money? Oh, probably countless things. At least even walk past them. Yeah, and there's no way to know that. I Damn, find it so. I find it so. No way. When I hear stories like this, oh my gosh. <clears throat> I love watching those videos. I uh, bought one thing that was shocking. What? Well, not shocking, <clears throat> just to me, because I was about ready to toss it in the garbage, and it was like this dumb little photo that I thought just came in the frame from a thrift store, mm-hmm. and then it was like a hundred worth a hundred and fifty dollars. A photo of what? Um, a lady just bending backwards in a white dress, and a guy just in a suit kind of holding her how do you know it was worth 150 dollars? because i scanned it and took a photo of it and shit like looked it up because i was like you know what i just had a gut feeling and i'm like i can't throw this away what if it's worth something you've you know? brought that you, now that yeah. you say that I, yes you have brought that up before mm-hmm. um so interesting but now i have a winnie the pooh photo and it's in the original mm-hmm. frame and the back's not broke Back's not broke out yet, so I think we talked about this on either slits or a podcast. Gosh, dude, I don't know, but I got to figure out that one. Yeah, and I just want to go antiquing and thrifting and see how oh. much shit I can find. Oh, absolutely. But that takes time. Me and Maggie often talk. Maybe in old age, like we, could, I would love to like open up a little antique store oh. slash like sandwich shop or something, you know, and just run that. I would love that. A little half and half. Yeah, that'd oh. be cute. Very interesting. Very, I lo- very interesting. I love that shit, dude. I love that shit. Love shopping. Well, not even shop. Just love shopping at old things. Looking at just the way, even cans back in the days. Treasures. When I went to Lake Powell, you were there, mm-hmm. but you didn't come on our little adventure. We were, uh, had the metal detector, and we were digging up shit that was just belt buckles that had trains on them. And it's probably like real... Oh, brass yeah. and stuff, you know? Oh, yeah. Love it. Let's get metal detectors. Dude, always wanted a metal detector. Oh, my. 
Absolutely. Um, you, you ready to do another seggy? Let's do it. What are we doing? Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Pumpkin spice lattes, freshly picked apples, terrible B.O. Let's face it. Summer isn't the only time we get body odor, okay? That shit's year-round. That's why I'm excited to tell you about Lumi Whole Body Deodorant for pits, privates, and beyond. Lumi Deodorant was created by an OBGYN who discovered body odor isn't just an underarm thing, you guys. It's an all-over thing. So she developed Lumi, a pH-optimized deodorant that's clinically proven to control odor everywhere up to 72 hours so fall can be fresh listen i've put this stuff in crevices okay i've got a lot of crevices up in my body i've used it guess what it works it's like a miracle or something and you guys personally for me the best part is it's aluminum free okay baking soda free and paraben free that's awesome and it's clinically proven to control body odor better than a shower with soap alone 12 hours after a shower guess what the average person has an odor level six out of ten with lumi the average odor level is zero out of ten how about that wow Lumi starter pack is perfect for a new customer. Okay, if you just kind of want to want to dip your toe in there, see what it's all about, the the starter pack is it. Okay, it comes with a solid deodorant stick, a cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice, like a mini body wash or deodorant wipes, and free shipping. That's right, guys. As a special offer for listeners, new customers get $5 off a Lumi starter pack with code VIRAL at LumiPodcast.com. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack when you visit LumiPodcast.com and use code VIRAL. Um, Let's just do the finish. Oh, yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Finish Mom the always said finish your plate, and my ex always said finish on the first date, but I always say finish the lyrics. Oh Ooh. my god, that's such a dumb little intro. And I, I love, love it. it. Okay, <clears throat> you want me to go first? I got them pulled up here. Oh, you you always pull up quick. Well, I got it ready. Mm-hmm. I'm nervous for this one. I don't know why. Don't. I'm nervous for all of these. Okay. <clears throat> oh, dude, I'm so nervous. Here we go. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, <clears throat> there's a land that I heard of rising high. No. Once in a lullaby. Good job, Brett. Good Give job, yourself Brett. a little clap. Give yourself a little clap. Just push a button. All right, there we go. Oh, hell yeah. Good job. Oh, no, no, bro. Okay, Brett. Brett, Brett never ne- do never, that. Never do that and lean back. <laughs> Somewhere. Okay, you ready for the next one? Yeah. Ooh, you're going to love this one. Ooh, these are good. Okay. <clears throat> to the left, to the left, everything you own in a box to the left, in the closet. That's my stuff, yes. If I bought it, then please don't touch, don't touch. Never turn to that mess up so Good job. Wow. You walk and wow. talk at the same time. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Brett. Okay, Brett, turn it off. Brett. I just did it once. Paige, I finally picked a song that you knew. That's impressive. Okay, now the next song I'm going to sing, I don't know if I'm going to get the melody melody correct, but Dude, I'm going to try my best. <clears throat> you ready? Everybody ready? <clears throat> Every day is so wonderful, and suddenly (laughs) it's hard to breathe. Now and then I get insecure from all the pain. Left to bleed, you are beautiful. No, 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 bitch. From all the pain. I'm so ashamed. Fuck. Yeah, you almost had it. So Did y'all like that little? Yeah. Don't look at me. 
Yeah. <laughs> Did you know what it was when I've said that? Yes. Oh gosh, we got um, Trader Joe's you? onion dip last night, and I ate the whole container, and I have been craving it all day. <laughs> wow! Did it give you the guts? No, it didn't. I've been cra- I It was so good. I I want more of it. So there's that. That's cool. You can eat a whole container of onion dip and not even get the shrimp singing. Well, I'm obese, so there it has its perks. Yeah, perks. There's perks <laughs> to everything. Just remember that in life. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Oh, God. Okay, go. Oh, God. Oh, fuck, dude. I hope I know my lyrics. That's the thing, the melody for me. You got it. My name should have been Melody. Stop. He wear no shoe shine. He got toe jam football. He got monkey finger. He shoot Coca-Cola. He say, I know you. You know me. Got to be good looking cause he's so hard to beat. Come together. <laughs> what was it? One thing I can tell you is you got to be free. That's it. Come I think together. that is a verse though. It, that is a verse page. Oh to that. fuck. Another yeah. one? So I think I Okay, I, then you get it then. I think I got, got that right. To be good looking and then I Cause he's I think that I think I got it right. Okay. Mm. Then, <laughs> thank you. But you know what if it's not after the the shoe shine and the football and the well, Coca Cola, mm, you, you know. You might be right about that. Yeah. You might be right about but, that. But I mean, any verse works here for me. Well, we can we can make up our own rules. We're both winners. Everyone, it, everyone at home's like, no, that's not the look <laughs> after the shoe shining part. <laughs> no, it, it's twenty twenty three. We're all we're all winners. Okay. okay. Um. <laughs> fuck, dude. How do we go from here? Okay. I just saw Haley's come and she waved. Said, why you always running in place? Even the man in the moon disappears. Somewhere in the stratosphere. Call my brother. <laughs> call my sister. Tell him I did the best I can. <laughs> I'm not calling fucking nobody, dude. <laughs> it's tell my tell mother, him. tell my father, not you fucking say call my sister. <laughs> dude, I was so fucking close though. Yeah. I like your version, dude. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Fuck, dude. <laughs> oh, in 2008, that song was on repeat. It was it. Oh, even before that. When, when, when did that come out? What, when did that come out? What song is that called? Um, um what it sh- I didn't really bang that one I, like you guys. It's my fucking song, and I'm like, what was that? Shine Down um, Songs. It's called Second Chance. That's it. Second Chance came out in 2008. Damn, I'm good. I'm. That's how I remember years and timelines is music. That's Brett, too. Music and mm-hmm. movies. He'll be like, oh, I was at the movie mm-hmm. theater in 19... I know what came out when, I know where I was, what I was doing, where I was working, where I was, you know, and... By music? Mm-hmm. What about events, And too? movies? Like, something not, happening? Not, not really. I mean, maybe some, but it's mostly music. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. You got another song for me? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, those radio stations really... Really what? Pounded it in your head, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Hold me now, I'm six feet from the edge and I'm thinking Maybe six feet ain't so far down Hold on, I think I read the wrong part I was about to say, yeah, you gotta, you gotta have something But you're, yeah, cause you would know the Hold me now, <laughs> would you know the I'm next six after feet this? from the edge and I'm thinking <laughs> on Maybe six feet Ain't so far down. <laughs> you know that whole fucking song. I do, but I need to know, like, at least start it. Okay. That's the thing. I'm looking down. Oh, so you messed up. Uh, yeah, I don't, because I, uh. Well, that's a Creed song. Yeah, sorry, Quarters guys. Session. I read the wrong part. Okay, well, I got it anyway. Yeah, you got it. We got it. All right. Creed. That was fun. <laughs> do you know this part? Sad eyes follow me. Uh, I don't know the melody. Sad eyes follow me on the Creed song we were just singing. I think it's sad eyes follow <laughs> me. 
but I still believe I'm strong in my feet. The rock me back to me. That yeah. part yeah. is out of fucking control. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Brett, and got a song for us? Man. A finish the lyric? Um, you want to make one up on the spot before we get into a call? How about, uh, oh, fuck. Can't think of one song okay. right now. You froze up? Yeah. You can't think of one song. Got rigor mortis. Uh, think all of I can it. think of is uh, Do Me Baby. Right? Do Me Baby. I got one. Oh, what, Beth? My neck. My back. Mm. Lick my pussy and my crack. What a great song. My neck. We know the lyrics to that. Wow. When I met you last night, baby. I don't know that before one. Before you opened up your gap. I gap. have respect for you, lady. Oh, yeah. But now I take it all back. Cause you gave me all your pussy. Okay. You even opened up your slit. <laughs> and even licked my balls. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, that's fine. The fact that he had a song that said, and you even licked my balls. It's great. That would be me if I was a songwriter. I miss Nate Dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shout out to Nate Dog. Yeah. Hey, Brett. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, Brett. <laughs> Brett. Yeah. Roll that beautiful good? roll oh. that beautiful bean for this. Let's do one call. <laughs> hey honey, it's Trucker Daddy here. Ooh. Big time OG rock fucker. Nothing makes me happier than that Tuesday when I get up, slam it in gear, kick on the podcast and get those miles rolling. Just ended up taking a load of beans down through Thackerville, so of course I had to call in. Uh good old fuck Mary Kill for you. Ooh, yes. Dorothy, Blanche, and Rose. Let's see what you guys got. Um, oh, fuck that pussy so tight. I'll get built some good. Bye, honey. Does Trucker Daddy need to make a pit stop? Or? I, I'm obsessed with him. That was a good moan. Trucker Daddy, we love you. First off, thank you for listening to the pod every Tuesday. Thank you. I'm glad that we can just bond while you drive. Right. Um, appreciate that. Appreciate the driving for what? You know, the beans? He said he's hauling beans. Hauling beans. I wonder if it's bushes. Now, that's a cool dude right there. That's a cool dude. And the moaning turned me on. Top tier. It was kind of hot. It was. It really was. Keep driving over here. So, um, so um, you okay. want to eat our ass? F- you want to eat our asses? Fuck Mary Keel. You don't watch Golden Girls, so you don't know. So should I just answer this? Please. And Beth, tell me if I'm wrong on this. I'm fucking Blanche. Okay. The queen of fucking. Okay. I'm not going to not do that. Um, I'm going to marry Rose. Her name's Blanche. Blanche. Devereaux. How do you spell it? B L A N C H E. Mm-hmm. Blanche. I'm going to Blanche her up. I'm marrying Rose because, come on. Hearing all of the stories from back home in St. Olaf and, you know, she's going to be so sweet to you and, you know, like, you're Marion Blanche. Or Rose. Rose. And then I'm going to kill Dorothy. And I love Dorothy. She gone. I love Dorothy, but I didn't, wouldn't want to fuck her and I wouldn't want to marry her, so there's only one thing left to do. Kill her. Same. Okay, Beth, same. Beth said same. Good. Good choices then. Yeah, good choices. Did I ever tell you what my dream goal is financially? And I'm being serious. I don't know if I've ever said this on the podcast. Beth knows about it. I want, here's my goal. If it's your big plan, then I don't know if you've said it. My dream, and I've thought about this for years, is to buy a couple acres, hire an architect to literally create the Golden Girls house inside and outside. I mean, the same floor plan, the same, just everything down to a T. Um, and hire a designer to come in. I'll probably do a lot of it myself, but come in and I mean, I will, I will have the furniture. I will have, I will spend money to have furniture built if I need to, to look I mean, I want you to walk, I want you to drive up and go, holy crap, we're at the Golden Girls house. And I want you to walk in and be in awe that you have stepped onto the TV set of the Golden Girls. And I want to Airbnb it out. Okay, so their 
house, like, were they in an actual house or were they in a set up place? They were in a set. They filmed in L.A. It was set in Miami. The The actual house is in Los Angeles, in Brentwood. And I drove by it about, we drove, me and Beth, we went by and took pictures in front of it about a year before the owners got sick and tired of people doing that. And they put up a huge fencing gate. So now you can't see it. Oh, that would be kind of annoying, I guess, people. But it's like, you know what you're in for if you're buying right. the house. That was what, Beth? God, nine, ten years ago? It was a long time ago. It's a long time ago. We have um, a lot of plans, dude. That is, and I'm, that's going to cost me a lot of money. I mean, that's going to cost, I don't know. I don't never build a house, but. But got to manifest it. You know, and, and I just want to Airbnb it for Golden Girls fans and for everybody to come over and just. Have the time of their life. Yeah. Have a golden and time. Just have a Golden Girls replica. I mean, how cool is that? Golden shower. Have there. a golden shower. Yeah. So there's that. That's my financial you, goal. It's got to have golden showers. Golden shower. Is that when just a dude pisses on your head? Just one guy? Is it head or anywhere else? Body? I think anywhere. Anywhere. Yeah. Do you have to be in the shower or can you be like outside or on the bed or whatever? Like wherever. Maybe. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think it's just when you piss on someone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've never looked that up. People love it. it getting pissed on. And well, not and even pissing on. Does that say not even getting pissed on? But I think I think it's the pissing on. I wonder what it is like if it's ooh, this girl is getting pissed on from me, or it's uh, huh? What could? Yeah, it that's be? what I said, dude. There's just no sexual te- pleasure. There's no telling. You know which angle they're getting at. It's a spectrum. It's it a could spectrum. all be a, you know kinks or fetishes. Uh, everything's on a spectrum. So, there's that. So, there's that for you. Brett, though, what were you saying? It is what you said? Uh, it's uh, just, yeah, something when you uh, piss for sexual pleasure. Yeah, but we were so. asking if it, it had to be in the shower or not. No, it's just... Anywhere. anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Universal piss. Do you think you could nut to that? Pissing on someone and nut and jacking off or something? He's tried to well, pee that, on that's me. That's the thing. You can't piss while you have a boner, though. Well, so, like, well, how do you... Well, what if you what if you peed on her and she's rubbing all the piss off and then you got a boner inject off with the smell of the pee and the uh, uh, yeah it the malt yeah. sticky yeah malt yeah. sticky hmm. malt leaky nut icky baby uh, so I think maybe like a post piss like after I bust a nut on her mm, everywhere okay then just clean her off with the um can we get into a segment because this I may have found the most satisfying sound that we've ever done. Yeah. Can we do it? Mm-hmm. Brett, let's do a guess this sound. I want to hear it. Here we go. <clears throat> Come on, Brett. Come on, Brett. Come on, Brett. You got to do better, man. Come on, Brett. Oh, I forgot. It's the last one. My fault. Guess this sound. Guess this sound. Huh? Guess this sound. Ma'am. Guess this sound. Love it. Okay. Ooh, I love satisfying noises. I'm pumped. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Here we go, Paige. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Let's get it. Here we go. Huh? Do it again. I just want to listen to it a thousand times. Ready? Ooh, I really like that. Are you biting down on something? Is it a bite of some sort? I'm conf- Do you want me to do you want me to give is you that? Is it a hint? bite? Well, do you want me to tell you? I mean give you well, that hint? Okay, so it is a bite. Um, okay, yes. <laughs> so you are biting Damn, it's it's not ice. Um it's hard to get the specific thing down. Brett, any guesses? I think it sounds like she's eating a chip. It's so satisfying. One Hold more, on. One more time. Damn. You may not get what it is, but you got the biting part right. You ready me to tell you? One more. A, a pee. A little pickle. Mm, mm. That was a pickle bite. Mm. 
Yeah. I don't like pickles. That, oh, so crispy. Yeah, that is a that is a good sound. Thank you. Appreciate it was that. a little louder sounding than a pickle to me, so I was confused. Well, I had it right up here. Right up in the mouth. You want me to do my other one? Oh, yeah. Ready? Everyone ready? Here we go. Huh? That's going to be a hard one because it doesn't sound like what it was now that I'm listening to it. That does not sound like what it is. I'm just really <clears throat> trying to like think. Are you cleaning a knife or something? Would we get it at all? I don't think so. Can you try it again? That does not sound like what it is. One more time. Ready? Maybe just like Velcro. I'm squeezing sauce out of a plastic thing. Ooh, okay. That does not sound like it. Listen. What is that? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. It was that? Positive. Okay. Hopefully mine sound. Okay, here I go. Guess this sound, bubby. Oh. All right. Something is in like a wood container, like marbles or um, beans, M&M, something along, the, something like that. You're having it in a bowl and you're mixing it. Want to hear it again? Yeah. Could be a candy box you're, you're jacking off. No candy. Can no candy, no marbles. Is it small and hard? Whatever's moving around? Mm-hmm. Edible? Oh, man. It's well, not edible? It's... Oh, sorry. Oh. I didn't hear that. It is edible. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I could... I, I, <laughs> All right. Because I have an idea. I, I feel Dude, like I, I hear that out. sound what quite is a it, bit. Is, are you shaking ice in a yes. cup? Yes. <sighs> And I thought you would get that because you do that shit all the time. Do it again. In a styrofoam cup. Yeah. I was literally about to say that. Freak. I can so. hear certain tones. Yeah. And really that well. was one of them. Gary, Gary, sleeping for me. Okay, mama. here's my other one. You yeah. ready? Oh, yep. Shit. <laughs> Gary. Oh, God. Oh, Gary's the cutest fucking thing. <clears throat> Here we go. You're brushing your hair. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yes. You got it. Um. Go ahead, Brett. Just <laughs> a little something for us. Oh, yeah. That was great. One more time. Oh, yeah. I love you, Dad. I love you, Dad. I love you, Dad. Remember when Brett wanted his dad to come pick him up? Oh, my God. We were in Los Angeles, and we were at a Thai food restaurant, me, you, and Brett. And what were we even arguing about or talking about? It I, was just some taunting. It, shut up. <laughs> we were talking something I don't even remember. It wasn't even, probably. And I don't even think we were serious or what. I don't even remember what happened, but Brett literally was like, got mad, although he said he never gets mad. And he was like, yeah, I'm just going to have my dad come pick me up. And we That started, doesn't sound like I'm mad. I'm just going to have my dad come pick me up. We started <laughs> laughing <laughs> so hard because a 43, at the time, 42, 41, oh, yeah. a 40-year-old guy is sitting there going, I'm just going to have my dad come pick me up. I'm going to call my dad. I had a birthday recently. When? October 8th. We already celebrated that, dude. Right, we celebrated it, but not on, not the, on the pod. Oh, man. Brett, we're sorry. It's all right. Oh my God. You didn't tell us. I just wanted to see if you remember. It's Here okay. we it's go. Fine. There's well, a lot of I did it. Well, no. Why did it? No, no, I don't care. Don't right. you say I wanted to see if y'all remember because here's what we're doing. We have to pre record episodes because I'm on tour. 
is what we do. So we've pre-recorded several episodes, so we know what episode is coming out when, and we'll say, okay, this one's going to be uh, um, posted October 24th, this is going to be posted then, and so we'll say, I have brought it up, hey guys, my birthday is going to be this month, or this episode. Paige just said, hey guys, my birthday is going to be this episode, so we know when to celebrate. You've been radio silent. Hey, you guys celebrated Jerry's birthday. Now, if your birthday was... But on- your birthday did not land on podcast day. Right. Okay. So sorry, should have been born a different day. <laughs> <laughs> now, if we were rec- if we were actually recording on your actual birthday... We mm. would be there. And guess what? You're going to get a whole flock of humans saying... Huh, after Chelsea goes, we, Chelsea says, we didn't, you didn't remind us. That's going to look so bad on me. Well, Paige should have remembered. That's but here's, coming. here's the thing. It's not his birthday. We are filming weeks in advance. So people that are pissed off right now don't understand the time concept. On his birthday, we would have remembered, we were going to remember his birthday. But the fact that we're filming. You guys just don't mean to break your memory. It's birthday. I'm stop listening to this podcast. I'm tired of being mean, Brett. That's what I feel like I see when I'm reading comments. <laughs> uh, when you guys said uh, it's so, October 10th, so you know, and way to all rub that. that. Way to rub that in, Brett. Victor, Brett, playing no, victim. Hey, Brett, nobody <laughs> even said the date. Did no, we, we, we haven't no, said that. Well, you did. I don't know if you said it on air, but it was before. Like, okay, it's October 10th. We say 10th. stuff no. before to I, get our minds right, but we no, don't I know. bring it I up. I thought you guys were going to say it, but I just forgot. Brett, it's not a big deal. This podcast will be posted October 24th. Yeah, no, today's I know. October Your birthday 24th. was weeks. Your birthday was weeks ago. No, I know. And you tried yeah. to become Victor. So what are you no, trying to do here? No, I didn't try to become Victor. I was just... We need legally. When you guys were saying it, I kept thinking you would say it was mine. No. And then I just forgot. The fact that we're sitting and here. And then now it's just funny. You, fact, told, Joe, just funny. you told Joey happy birthday. <laughs> it's the, 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 uh, what was I about oh, to say? Your episode. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know. People we're are going to be, people are going to be confused, <clears throat> Brett. Yeah. Because our schedules are so crazy. Brett knew what he was doing when he goes, oh, you guys forgot my birthday. <laughs> No, I just forgot to to say it. Oh, so you so had to say it live on air? Well, happy birthday. Well, I mean, this is a great time for us to talk. Yeah, it is. Let's talk. You know? Do you want us to sing you happy birthday? Yeah, yeah. actually. <laughs> Will you? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Brett Boone. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> You know our shrimps are singing left and right with AG1's prebiotics, probiotics, and digestive enzymes. That gut is feeling good and it is not making a peep. I definitely noticed a difference after taking AG1 with my skin. I feel like it just cleared up and I had more of a glow. AG1 has a vanilla-y flavor and I like it. If you maybe don't have a desire for the flavor, a lot of people I know add it in their smoothies and you can add it to really any type of other drink you like or take in the morning. But for me, I just chug it down. It's easy, simple, and delicious. Taking a bunch of different vitamins and pills and Figuring out which ones you're going to take which day is hard to keep up on. With AG1, you get all those vitamins in one, in one scoop without the hassle. Mm Mm-hmm. AG1 is the supplement I trust to provide the support my body needs daily. And that's why they've been a partner for so long. If you want to take ownership of your health, it starts with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Go to drinkag1.com slash viral. That's drinkag1.com slash viral. Check it out. So what do you want to go <laughs> do on your actual birthday? Oh, it's the 8th. I know. Oh, I this is said. later on in the month that this is going to be posted. So what do you want to go do on your actual birthday? Oh, what do I want to do? Um, man, I haven't even thought about it. What I want to do hmm. for my birthday. So you're already throwing gas. Yeah, haven't no, thought, no. haven't, haven't I thought even... about it, but wants to bring it up that we haven't celebrated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> yeah. 
on our podcast. This is you funny. tried to just throw shade. No, I was just playing around. Well, you're gaslighting. Uh, you know, I, I apologize if I offended you. Anyway. Apologize to the listeners. I'm so sorry <laughs> that I did that. Brett, you haven't uh, a, you haven't offended me, but I have a serious question for you. Okay. Are you mad at me? No. Dude, and he never like laughs at all. Brett, no more damn sound bites. I kind of like the sound bites. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just so fucking many though. Hey Brett, we love you. I don't get to do this anymore. I love you too. What? Yeah. Aggravate us on our podcast? Yeah, just the... Oh. That's Maggie. Here he comes, victim. Victor. No, I didn't even mean it like that. Brett. I just don't get to do this. I don't get to press these buttons anymore. Brett, would you legally change your name to Victor? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got to. Victor Rod Brian um, Boone. Mm-hmm. Would you? you? Wait, your middle name's Rod Brian? No. No, because Rod Stewart. Oh. Then... That's my lobotomy. <laughs> I'm going to pee my fucking pants. I'm going to pee my fucking pants. Well, your middle name's Rod. I'm going to pee my fucking pants, dude. No. Yeah, I mean, it's dude. not a big deal to me, my birthday at all. <laughs> it's really not. I swear. Then why are you crying? Crying? Because he's trying to become a victim. No. He wants the comments to say, I, oh, I feel so bad for Brett. They celebrated oh. Chelsea's birthday. They celebrated Pat's birthday. I just Pat's forgot birthday. to bring it up, and then I just remembered now. So. Oh, my gosh. I didn't think Dude. of the repercussions. I talked. Well, that's your problem. Yeah. That is. <laughs> yeah. Not thinking before that's you're true. speaking. Or touching. It huh? is crazy. Buttons. Oh. That how much you got to think before you speak. Like, yeah. pretty much everything you say, you're just going to fuck up. Oh, yeah. always. And it's really hard when, you know, you do a podcast and you're just like, damn, every word I'm saying. <laughs> well, it- we're human and people judge, um, I guess, fame. I don't want to say famous people, but people Anybody. on the internet too harshly. We're, we're, all, we're all humans doing the best we can. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we're going to stutter. Sometimes we're going to say the wrong words. Sometimes we're going to forget Brett's birthday because he doesn't remind us when we pre-record. And hopefully mm-hmm. they'll just watch the whole episode and know everything's okay. You know? Yes. Well, are you okay? <laughs> oh, Cause, yeah. Because people will think right now oh, that yeah, I'm like don't. pinching you under the table making you Whoa. say you're okay. No. Are you? I'm great. Every day is probably the best day of my life, I think. Every day is so good. Yeah. yeah. If you wake up and I be agree. like, dude. I agree. Just being excited about the future. Just being vertical. Important. Right. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. You know what I was thinking about after this? Food? Getting a Papa John's pizza. You love better pizza, Papa John's. Better help, <laughs> Papa John's. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you love anything with just do better. Just- yeah. Butter, help. butter. I thought about going and getting me their cheese sticks, their their pizza cheese sticks, and stopping at Sonic and getting a limeade and headed home with cream. Limeade with cream or not? Nah? I don't like the limeades with cream. <clears throat> That's the best. Uh, mm, a cherry limeade, yeah, but not oh, with, I meant cherry yeah, limeade. Yeah, you said limeade. Yeah, those are kind of sour. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's do. What do you want to do, Paige? Let's do. You pick. Fucking whatever. Let's. Do two truths, one lie. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> two truths, one lie. This is one of my favorite segments for sure. People love it. You want? You ready they for love me? how fucking confused we get. You want me to go? Yeah. <clears throat> two truths and a lie. Here we go. Brady, you okay over there? Yeah, I'm sweating. I was hoping she wouldn't put that on. You oh. You were sweating. Why? Just armpit sweat. Hmm. Okay. Got a little heated there. Well, no, didn't it? Like, yeah. Okay. When he gets uh, mad. All right. When he gets <laughs> mad. <laughs> I think it's just because I'm shirtless yeah. and it's cold, and so my body's trying to heat up. Do, do you sweat more you know? when you're shirtless, or like when you sleep naked? No, I always sleep naked. I never sleep with clothes. I haven't in years. I feel more warm when I sleep naked. Really. Hmm. Hmm. Body heat? Mm. No. Okay. Why is that? <clears throat> mm-hmm. All right. Two truths and a lie. Everybody ready? I once met Jessica Simpson at the mall. My favorite dessert is zucchini bread. And I once was interviewed by the news. 
Two are true. One is false. Which one is false? Oh, fuck, dude. These are good. Mm-hmm. Gosh, I think the the zucchini bread, I, I don't think in the years I've known you, you've even ate zucchini bread around me. I know you've had pe- a lot of peach cobblers, <clears throat> ice creams. You've never said, mm, I'm hankering for a zucchini bread. Interesting. So, okay. I mean, you said that it's your favorite dessert? Mm-hmm. I'm just going to fucking say that's the lie. Okay. Well, that is the lie. You got it right. <laughs> but, yeah, but, but. Zucchini bread is my second favorite dessert, and my number one favorite dessert I can't get everywhere. My number one is sticky toffee pudding, and number two is zucchini bread. I fucking love zucchini bread. I it, Me too. It, is it hard uh, to come across? Uh, no, I usually make it. I haven't made it in a while, but if I'm somewhere and it's for sale, I'm getting a zucchini bread. I, I will say zucchini bread is one of my favorites. Ooh. I remember as a kid thinking, zucchini, mm. but then... Your mom or whatever. I will have it, it. I will have it over banana bread, mm-hmm. any zucchini bread. Oh, and don't be adding the nuts and stuff. Just I like mm. it just nutless. Like nuts. I like both. Um, just if a I, warm with oh, butter. Oh, that sounds so good. Or not too nutty. You can ha- maybe have a couple. Spread I like out, a little bit of nut. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Not nothing crazy. <laughs> nothing crazy. <laughs> nothing crazy. <laughs> Damn, okay. gaudy. All right. Okay, here we go. Two truths, one lie. I love Noki. I've peed my pants completely while at work. And and I hate bar soap. You do love Noki. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, it's I. I love Noki. I peed my pants completely while at work, and a stranger wanted to breastfeed me. Okay, Noki, you mean the ice creams or the little pastas? Pasta. I think you're tricking me. There's ice cream. Those little um. That's mochi. Mochi. Okay. Um, Shout out to Mochi. mm. Mm, Mochi, dude, so fucking good. I think you're trying to trick me with the Noki. I don't feel like i think the texture is a little too weird for you you're worried about texture but then you love pasta and stuff so um i think the pee the pants is true i think somebody wanting to breastfeed you is true i think it's the gnocchi that's uh false you got it right yes (laughs) and was i right about texture yep texture i can't freaking and i love pasta the texture of gnocchi Mm-mm. I feel like you had her, and then you went back and like read again because she was like, "I know you like Noki." I was thinking it was the ice cream. Mm. Yeah, she thought it was mochi. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful, dude. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Um, th- let's do one more. Call. Let's end the pod. Let's do one more call. Okay. Yeah, my bar soap question. I was thinking I already an- or asked you, but I can't fucking remember. Yeah, I was thinking that you did not like bar soap. No. Okay, that was right. Because you don't use anything. Right. Yeah. Dude, bar soap, if it gets underneath my fingernails, it is like a pet peeve of mine. It's like a weird, maybe OC, I don't know. It will make me... And you're like kind of supposed to do that when you wash your hands. You're supposed to get under the nails. Bar (laughs) soap underneath your fingernails, if you can do that, fuck you. Whoa. It's mm. weird. Huh. Mm. Ooh. Interesting. I've done that. Yeah. Yeah. Even almost picking it up. If the soap ever dropped, I would not be bending over. Oh, it didn't bother me at all. Huh. Yeah. I'll pick it up too. I love a bar soap. I actually stopped using mm-hmm. bar soaps after I saw my dad showering with and he was using the bar soap no, a little too deep. You have your own bar of soap. I don't use other people's bars of soap. Yeah, that was when I was still showering, you know, in my parents' mm-hmm. shower. And then I was like, I probably shouldn't be So using y'all that. were both going deep. Well, I wasn't going as deep as he was back then, you know. So you weren't cleaning yourself properly. No, I was, but I was just like, 
I don't want to use that mm. soap hey, that my dad uses. At least he wasn't shoving him up his ass like that one caller sting. Yeah. yeah. Remember that? <laughs> that was wild. We nicknamed him Sting. <laughs> All right, let's do this call. <laughs> let's do this. Is busting a nut actually healthy? Uh, okay. <laughs> Is busting a nut actually healthy? Does Dolly Parton sleep on her back? I'm guessing. The yeah. answer is yeah. Yeah, I would say, we <clears throat> always say busting nuts are healthy. We're like very pro-healthy nut busters on this podcast. Um, it relieves tension, anxiety, uh, makes you not want to... Oh, my internet Kind of relaxes fucking, you, I feel. Relaxes yeah. you. Yeah. Brett used to nut to study. Yeah. Oh, dude. In college. Nutting is just needed... Nothing's needed. <clears throat> it's a stress relief. Okay, seven benefits of orgasm. And this is not, this is scientific. I think we've read this list before. Have we? A long time ago. We, we got to have reminders every now and then. Um, orgasm boosts mood. Um, according to science, these hormones include ox, oxytocin. It's called the love hormone. Uh, feelings of love and attachment. Um, dopamine, which triggers intense feeling of reward, desire, and pleasure. Endorphins, the natural opiate, uh, opiates, serotonin, um, regulate mood, appetite, and sleep. And then prolactin, a chemical that initiates milk production after pregnancy. <clears throat> also makes you feel satisfied after an orgasm. Um, so it, it releases those. Releases um, milk? Can, I guess if you're... Pregnant or breastfeeding, I guess. Whoa. Um, I wonder if the nipples are ever clogged. You just need to fucking yeah. rub one out. Orgasms improve sleep. Um, orgasms help pelvic floor muscles. Orgasms relieve pain. That is true. I have heard sometimes if I'm having a headache or uh, something like that, I'll bust a nut. Even on my period? Yeah. If I'm having cramps? Yes. A nut will do. Even like when you're sick, <clears throat> like you'll be, I still want to, you know, bone. Oh, and yeah. I'll notice like while, while I'm boning, I'm not even sick. Yeah, like he'll have a runny <laughs> nose and then we'll fucking, the runny nose will just go away. Power of the mind. <clears throat> breakouts, uh, orgasms keep breakouts at bay. Um, breakouts so at like bay. So like it helps with your face look. That's why like whenever you, you know, have sex, people say, oh, you have that glow, that face glow. Mm-hmm. Um your brain gets a workout during an orgasm. Orgasms lead to healthier hair. I mean, there's l- orgasms boost your immune uh, uh, immunity. Orgasms make you feel happier, make you feel bonded with your partner. Um, during orgasms, your breasts get bigger. It says, Frick, um, "I better start fucking." <laughs> I should never stop. So your boobs are a perfect size. Yeah, um, they're very perky. They're great. Yeah. Um. So. There's so many scientific benefits the to ben- nutting. Yeah. The benefits to nutting are endless. Literally. I'd actually heard that jerking off causes uh, warts on your hands. Huh. When I was growing up. Who told you that? Uh, I don't know who, but... Somebody like who myth, didn't want you to those. jack yeah. off. Somebody who didn't want you jacking off, that's for sure. Yeah. I thought it was just from touching frogs, not jacking off. Right. Yeah. I never heard that. I used to see girls with warts um, on their hands, you know, and I would think, well, they must have touched a damn frog. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking this up. There's, does masturbation... Maybe more calluses, but cause, I'm not thinking warts. <laughs> calluses. No, this says masturbating can spread genital warts, but you're not talking about that. You're talking about... Blister warts. Like frog warts. Just, yeah. yeah, if you have warts on your hand, like I remember I had like a wart on my uh, middle of my palm. But it I hadn't wasn't start, a callus? No, I hadn't even started jerking off yet. So and you're then, like, that's not right. And then I, I think that's when I heard that. Like, oh, you must jerk off a little bit. Everything I'm looking at wants to talk about um, genital warts and stuff, which may. I I, I Gosh. 
very odd. Imagine just oh. being a kid with a handful of warts and you're getting accused of jacking <laughs> off. Right here on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> I touched a frog, I promise. <laughs> well, damn. Right I here on Reddit. Weren't. Does masturbating cause warts on your hands? Somebody said no, but masturbating with warts, our hands will get a... Our, with warts on your hands, will get on your dick. I don't know. Mm. That's oh, weird. it can spread from hand, yeah. to, hand to cock. Mm. Hi, Gary. Did you enjoy today's Very podcast? Very interesting warts. You know? Yeah. I've did never had a wart. wart? Uh, I've never had war- a wart. I think I have had one on my hand a long time ago, and I just... Yeah, you guys are boring talking about warts. <laughs> Gary. Um, I have had one. Yeah. What'd you do to get rid of it? I just got one of those compound freeze off things and it was gone yeah i, I went to the like dermatologist yeah. and they were they'd freeze it off yeah and it fucking hurt mm-hmm. and then it come back all the time did compound w went away hey so, you guys yeah. i have a confession to make this is gary for everybody listening um i actually am the one that told brett that <laughs> years ago when he was a child um i didn't want him jacking off because at the time um, I was a very religious guy, and I um, thought it was wrong. But now that I've lived some life, I realize that jacking off is one of the best things in the world, and I shouldn't have told you that, Brad. Sorry, man. I think it's probably one of the Mormon buddies that I had. Yeah, I was I was Mormon at the yeah. time, and I thought nutting was bad, but now I realize it's not because it has well, it has scientific benefits. And nutting's I, good, Gary. Well, I know that now, Paige. Lord, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to apologize to everybody. Gary now has a nutting health book. I've got a nutting health book. It's coming out on my mommy's website. It's called Gary Nuts. It's called Gary Nuts and Other Scientific Facts. Oh, my mm-hmm. gosh. Look at him. <laughs> He's everything to me. <gasps> How He's could a-, a dog be so fucking cute? What? I'm just a normal looking guy, Aunt Paige. Cute for mama. Can Gary still nut? Oh, yeah. I nut all over the place. I nutted on my mommy's bed last night. Nutted and skids. I nutted and I skid marked. I had a wild night. He I loved... I've never left a skid mark like that. I don't think on a sheet. Not on a sheet. In my underwear. I underwear. Have. That's one haunted. <laughs> I love my mommy. Everything about my mommy I love. She's very pro nut, so I was born into the right family. She lets me nut everywhere. It's wonderful. Gary, what's your favorite type of nut? Uh, I love a double nut back to back. No. I love I love when my balls are completely empty. Oh, you mean oh almonds? He loves to be drained. I love I love when my balls are drained. Almonds, Gary, stop talking that way. Your balls are never drained. You're a baby boy angel. No, mom, I fuck and I nut. <gasps> Fucking nut. What I do, I nut. When I'm on the road with my mommy, I fuck all her fans. Well, what I do? Show proof, Gary. I'm not gonna show and tell. <laughs> I'm not gonna show. Oh, dude, I just stare at his face and mm-hmm. zone out. I can't even look at him. Yep, that mama baby boy, mama world. Yeah, I think I need a Japanese chin. Need to get you one. Japanese chin, dude. Yep, but be careful. We will not all over your whole house. I can't believe that Japanese chins are like cats. It trips me out. He, they're a lot like cats. Uh, yeah, he's very cat-like. They hiss even. I don't hiss. Oh, I got it on video. I'm a, I'm a normal guy. Dude, is this pod about over? We're done, honey. I'm mm. sad. I know, I'm sad. I could sit here and just yakety yak all day, dude. Yeah. We hope you guys join us next week yes. as we will will be back with another installment. And help. thank you for helping us take over the world. Thank you for your support from just watching and listening. And thank you for... Being a stupid oompa loompa looking ass motherfucker. Yeah. And listen, I don't know when we're going to be able to say something, but we have something in the works for end of the year slash Christmas time that you guys have been asking for and we've been working hard for for a very long time. We think it's going to happen. We don't want to say. Please keep up with the pod for uh, news on that and keep up with our Instagrams and the t- TikToks, if they don't delete me, and not me sitting here thinking, "Fuck, dude, what is this?" You know what it is. There's a lot of things. The big one. Okay, big surprises, huge. So keep your eyes filled yep. and make sure to keep checking I, back. And I don't want to say because I don't want something to just in case we learned our lesson with talking too soon. And I think yeah, and I don't want it to not happen. And people be like, "Oh, you said 
go Peter. That's why you got to just keep your mouth shut a lot of the times. The wise man once said nothing. It's so they don't get that repercussion well, of, well, where, where is it? Well, where is it at, though? I shouldn't have said nothing. Well, <laughs> we could, we'll just make... There's other big things. It's a talk you know? show, though. Yeah, and, and I got to so, talk. Yeah. Got to talk. Sometimes you lie <laughs> when you talk. <laughs> yeah. Brett, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Thank Thanks you, for Brett. running the board while Maggie was gone. Appreciate mm-hmm. that. Thank Brett, you. what should people call in with? What do you want to know? What do you want to hear? What do the listeners want to hear? I think um, I was going to talk about this in the lean forward, but um, how do you eat pussy? What I think would be a good thing. Like, what's what technique do you use? Because I think I have a new technique that's... Guaranteed. Well, we can't end the pod there. No, I, that's a it's tease. A new technique? Yeah, I discovered a new technique. We'll show them. Uh, I don't want to show them. You want to tell them? Well, let's just tell them next time. Oh, so he wants to be on next week's pod. Oh, yeah. What oh, if there is whoa. no next time? Okay. You never know. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, Should I really say it? Well, we can talk about next pod. All right. A little cliffhanger. Stay, so I can be back. Stay. Yeah, we'd love right. to. So yeah. I can be back. Brett, Acting yeah. like a victim, dude. Brett. Brett, we'd love oh, to. Yeah. Brett, we would love to have you back. Mm-hmm. And sorry, I forgot your birthday weeks in advance, although it was three weeks ago. And it hasn't even happened. Kind right, of, but right. it has on, when this is aired. So, right. I wonder if people listening are so fucking confused <laughs> when we say it's happened and it hasn't happened. I think, or most, do they get it? I think most people will get it. I think there will still be a few people, a few, that they will not hear anything we heard other than we forgot Brett's birthday. <laughs> it's mm. just gonna go in and out, and they will be upset about that. They just haven't watched the whole episode. They got, you got to watch the whole episode yeah. to really get the whole <laughs> yeah. story. The vibe. Yeah, you need the whole story and the whole vibe. That is true. So but we call so, in if you... We're sorry we missed your birthday <laughs> in the future, in the past. The fact that it's in the future, but it was in the past. Thank you. We're sorry. It's, That's why I, they started the show Back to the Future. Right. I shouldn't have even said anything on well, the talk show. We, we say that every day, though. I know. But sometimes players fuck up. Okay. Well... So give us a call if Please. you have got any good pussy eating tips, and we love <laughs> you. And our number is four four two seven 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 three 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 one. And always remember that you are doing great. You are looking good. And, and fuck what everybody, everybody else thinks. How do you fuck me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fucking funny. Brett just fell over. <laughs> Oh Dude. my god. Brett, play up. the outro, man. Get ready. <laughs> We're going viral. Get ready. We're going viral. <laughs> Woo! That was funny. How do you suck, <laughs> big? <laughs>